Welcome to Creative Tian Channel. Today we are going to sew a very simple mask. It's the back to school season again, and I just want to make more masks for my kids and my husband. A lot of places still require masks. Even though you can buy masks in the market easily now, a lot of them are actually made of polyester or some synthetic fabric, so it's not the best choice and it's more special if you can make it yourself. It doesn't take a lot of time or fabric, and you don't really need uh, advanced skills. The mask I'm making is modified from my video from last year, and I also have patterns, which is just a simple rectangle shape, so it's very easy to cut up your pattern. And I have four size pattern, for men or larger adults, female or smaller adults, and older kids, maybe teenagers, and younger kids, such as elementary school kids. In that video, I have pockets, so you can put any inserts, and I also use regular elastic. Today I'm going to use a simplified version. My elastic is adjustable elastic. These are very easy to find on Amazon or eBay, and they are pretty cheap too. But if you don't have adjustable elastic, you can always cut extra long and tie it up later to adjust for the right size. So first I have to cut my fabric. For the adult size, I use a large one that's 8.5 inches by 14 inches. And for my little one, I have 7 inches by 11.5 inches. So you just cut the rectangle, and each rectangle will become one mask. I also iron it first, so it's easier to sew. And when you cut, you have to pay attention to the pattern. There's a direction. It should go up and down, because later we are going to fold it this way. So you will see the pattern this way. The first thing I'm going to do is actually sew along the edges, so it doesn't unravel later, and it's more sturdy. I'm just going to use zigzag stitch to sew along the edges. You don't have to do that if you don't want to because you will be enclosed inside later. And if you have a serger, you can also use serger, you'll be faster. Or another choice is to use a pinking shear so it creates a zigzag cutting because the fabric will be in an angle so it doesn't unravel as easily. I'm going to use my Hello Kitty sewing machine because this one has zigzag stitch. So I set it to C for the zigzag and about number two for the length and the width. And just sew it close to the edge. And I do a little overlap at the end. I also cut off the corner a little bit, if you can. It's not critical, but it will be easier to fold later. For the next step, we'll just fold it in half, like that, and sew a line across the top. And you can decide the seam allowance. I will say one centimeter or three eighths of an inch. It doesn't make much difference. You can pin it first or just sew directly. Now I want a straight line. I set it up to straight. And a back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Next, we will just fold it inside out. Now we have a tube.
and I'm doing all four of them at the same time. It's faster this way. If you want to insert nose wire or create a pocket for extra insert, you can check out my previous video. I will have the link in the corner and in the description box. The next step, we are going to fold in the sides. You can use the same seam allowance. 3 eighths of an inch or one centimeter. And it's better to iron it first before we sew. We'll do the same on the other side. Fold in a little bit and iron it first. And then we are going to insert the elastic. Next, we are going to insert the elastic and I use an adjustable one. So you don't really have to worry about exact size of the elastic. And I can just insert to the pocket on the sides. I leave it close to the top and bottom, but not all the way to the edge. And because I leave the center area so I can fold three times later, insert it, you can pin it, and we sew a line to close the hole. And we do that on the other side. It's pinned, now we're ready to sew a line. The next step is just to fold it. You can fold it down like that three times. We start with middle and then a small one on the top, a small one below. And you can adjust it so it looks right to you. You can always pin it and also iron it first so it's easier. And after we iron it, the only thing left is to sew the line on both sides. You can also iron everything first and insert the elastic. So we can sew the elastic and the folds at the same time. And it's a good idea to sew two lines so it's more secure. So that's it. That's how I make everyday mask. Thank you for watching and see you next week.